Hello friends, welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm here in the beautiful Cloister Garden. I'm on this coral walkway, stones, and I'm walking toward the street, the intersection of where Devon Road meets Main Highway. And here we have a gate with an archway. And I was thinking that I wanted to speak to you from this place because it sort of reminds me of what it might have been like, though the road was dusty and not stones as we see it here, big stones laid out here, but that maybe Jesus walked through a similar gate. Or better yet, we could think that here we are in this place today, and we could imagine this is a gate where life walks in and enters. And today, Sunday, March 28, is the start of Holy Week with Palm Sunday. And so as Jesus came into Jerusalem, the crowds greeted him by throwing their cloaks, their wraps, their scarves, branches. We symbolize it with the palm branches onto the road as they welcomed what they thought would be their king, the king that would be all powerful, the king that would make their lives so much better and speak to the Roman government and to those that would make them feel not so good about themselves or who were making it hard for them to feed their families and take care of one another. But Jesus wasn't that kind of king. Jesus came in, came to us as God's son to remind us of how God wants us to live, to lovingly take care of one another and not to have to do it with meanness or forcing people to do it. And if they don't do it, slapping their hands, but to do it because you really genuinely care for one another and that we really understand that God has blessed us. That means God has given us everything, friends, everything, my young friends, that we need. There is enough food to feed, feed everyone that lives on this planet. There's enough wood and stone and different things to provide shelter for everyone who lives here on this planet. And that's how God wants us to live and to think about that. This Palm Sunday and throughout the week is what we call Holy Week. So there'll be a number of times when we can come together at church, but there's also a special time that I want to bring to your attention. We've made a number of little stories, uh, retelling the stories of what happened to Jesus during this Holy Week from this Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday. What happened that led to his death on the cross on Good Friday, the silence of Saturday when everybody was grieving because Jesus was no longer with them, with us. And then the happiness and the joy of Easter Sunday morning. So I invite you while you're out on spring break to come with your family to the campus. You can pick up a map by the church office. It's the building with the beautiful fountain in front of it. And follow that map and go to the different places on our campus and hear once again about the things that happened to Jesus and the people during that Holy Week. So what I wanna leave you with today, my young friends, is that, you know what, no matter how small you may think you are, no matter how big and strong you may think you are, God's arms are always open wide for us. And that you, you, my young friends, can show the world how much God loves them and cares for them. You can lead the way and let people know how there's enough to share. We can share our toys, we can share our books, we can share our food, and we can make sure that everyone has a warm, safe place 
to live and to grow. So I leave you with this little song. Go now in peace, go now in peace, and may the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. See you soon and happy Easter.